everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm filming a special video for you guys on how I actually lost 20 pounds I know Brian and I just filmed a video the other week for you guys about our fitness journeys how we got started and how we got to where we are today but I had a lot of people send me requests on what I actually did to lose my 20 pounds you know the type of workouts I did the nutritional things I did vitamins, everything. So I decided to actually sit myself down and tell you guys my secrets on how I lost 20 pounds within basically a month and hopefully it will help get you guys motivated to get up and be fit and you know just make yourself a better you for your own self. So basically when I first started my fitness journey I was seriously not motivated. It took a lot for me to actually just get my butt up off the sofa and into a gym. So I was doing a lot of research and actually a friend introduced me to this saying that he actually lost 80 pounds while taking this product and he suggested that if I really wanted to start losing some weight and getting motivated to get up in the gym and actually having the energy to go to the gym that I should try this product as well. Keep in mind this video is not sponsored. I went and purchased this all by myself. These are my actual real feelings on this product. You guys do not have to go out and buy this. I am not saying that you have to go out and buy this. Once again, I am not saying you have to go out and buy this product. I am telling you this because this is how I got started and what helped me get my butt up off the couch and into the gym. The product that I am going to be showing you guys is Hydroxycut. When I first bought this, I was very skeptical. I'd heard so many people try Hydroxycut and it was one of those, yeah, I did it for a little while, it made me feel like crap, I really didn't see any results. I'm like, well, I've already tried everything out there, so what's one more thing? I started taking this and I will admit, the first four days, I felt like I was completely hungover. It was the worst feeling in my entire life. I had to go to work like that. It just felt like, like my eyes under here, it was just, they were just so tired. I felt so hot and sweaty and nauseous. I, I, I really felt like I had just partied hard all weekend and that I was having a four day hangover. It does have 200 milligrams of caffeine and 441 milligrams of the hydroxy cut blend, which is basically a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to read off to you. If you want to know what it is, you can go look at the bottle. But you start off by taking from day one to day three, you take one caplet twice daily. This is where I felt like poo. I would take one caplet and then I felt fine. And then the second one I would take was when I really, really started to feel weird. It made me not hungry, it made me nauseous, and after, from day four and beyond, you take two caplets twice daily, I was thinking to myself, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, per like, this is like self-suicide. I just, it, it was a struggle to maintain it, but my friend kept telling me, just keep with it. Just promise me, just keep with it. So I did. I realized that I was not drinking enough water. When it says you need to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day, you need to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. And then some, if you can. You have to actually eat with this product. It says you're supposed to eat 30 to 60 minutes afterwards, but whenever I would take it, just the caffeine in general, going in on an empty stomach, would make me feel so nauseous. So I'd usually eat like 10 minutes afterwards and then I would be fine. So this product itself, it did help me lose weight, but a lot of it I think was actually water weight. Now I will tell you guys, when I first started taking this, this stuff will make you have to poop. Oh my God. I started taking this and it was like, I just, I could not get to the bathroom fast enough. Yeah, basically this is what I took to help me get motivated. The caffeine in it helped me stay focused. It helped me, it was kind of like a pre-workout for me just because I cannot, take artificial sweeteners and most pre-workouts have artificial sweeteners like Splenda in them and they will make me vomit and it's just that's not a happy day for me. So I have to resort to some type of pill form. Hydroxycut is really the only thing that has worked for me. Like I said, I've tried so many other products out there and this is legit the only one that has helped me lose weight. Granted, I 
felt like crap the first couple of days, but afterwards it was like, wow, I feel so good. I feel like I could run a mile. I was alert. I was sleeping better. It was helping control my appetite. I just felt good. So if you want to try this product, just bear with it the first couple of days, guys. Drink your water and don't forget to eat. I started seeing results after after two days, actually. I don't know if it's because I just pooped so much or if it was water weight or what, but I, my pants started to fit better, my bras were fitting better, and it just, it made me feel so good. And like I said, this video is not sponsored. HydroxyCut did not send this to me. So, HydroxyCut, Thank you so much. You really helped me out. Along with a good workout regimen and nutritional diet, this stuff right here will indeed help you lose weight. So when you're taking a weight loss supplement, like I said, it is more than likely gonna make you go to the bathroom a lot. When you do that, believe it or not, you're actually losing a lot of vitamins and minerals and basically the good bacteria that is in your gut because your body's basically detoxing. And I felt like crap. Not gonna lie, miserable, blah, migraines all the time, nausea all the time, tired all the time. I would sleep all the time. I mean, it was like a struggle just to get up and go to the gym once I started losing weight. And I realized, hmm, maybe it's because my body's like, girl, what are you doing to me? Where's my chocolate? Where's my pizza? Where's my cheeseburgers? Mm -mm, boo -boo. No, we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna eat some bananas, we're gonna eat some chicken, we're gonna eat some fish which are packed in nutrients, but when your body is not used to that, it's going to crave it. It is absolutely going to be like, I am feeding for some bacon. I want some pizza mm, with cheese. When I started experiencing a lot of migraines, I went out to the store to try and find something to help cope with those, mostly because I don't want to have to take Excedrin all the time. It's pretty hard on your liver, and I kind of like mine, so. If you guys are anything like me, I hate taking pill vitamins. Those things are the size of horse pills. I don't know why they make them that big. They're nasty, and they quite frankly hurt my stomach whenever I take them. I don't know why, but they just, they cause a lot of heartburn, and that's not really something that I'm wanting to deal with the entire day. So I went out to the vitamin aisle, and I just started to hunt down the best multivitamin for someone of my size and my age. And I ended up finding the Vitafusion Multivites Complete Multivitamin Gummy. These are actually really, really good. They're natural berry, peach, and orange flavors. There's 70 gummies in a bottle. I believe it was only $4.99. They also come with a bear bottle. I just got the smaller one. And it says that two gummies provides as much vitamin A as one cup of broccoli. I know some of y'all probably don't like broccoli. I love broccoli. But for those of you that don't, you could just take the gummy. It has vitamin D3 as much as five ounces of salmon. It's actually pretty good. Salmon is really, really good for you as well. It has immune system support and it is also gluten free. So for those of you that have gluten allergies, these gummies will not bother you. Basically just like a regular multivitamin, you don't exceed the daily dosage. And the only downside about this product is the fact that since they are gummies, you have to fight to get them out of the bottle. It's like, because they're all stuck together. Another multivitamin that I take every single day, up to three times a day, is calcium, magnesium, and zinc. This is made with D3, which is basically the vitamins that you get from sunlight. A lot of people that are suffering from migraines, this is a great product for you because recent studies have shown that migraines have been leaked. But leaked. Recent studies have shown that migraines have been linked to vitamin D deficiency and vitamin B, B deficiency. And vitamin B is something that you can take continuously all throughout the day and whatever your body does not absorb, you will pee or poop it out. So you don't have to worry about that. Now other things like vitamin D, you have to be very careful with. So this right here, it helps build strong bones, muscles, and teeth. Calcium, of course, we all know what calcium does for you. When you start losing weight, you might end up losing bone density. So using the calcium to help rebuild that is great. Magnesium. A lot of people don't realize that when you take magnesium, do not exceed over 300 milligrams 
if, if you're my size, do not exceed over 300 milligrams of magnesium. I made the mistake of doing that. I took 500 milligrams of magnesium every single night. One, because it helps relax the muscles. Two, it helps fight migraines. Three, it helps you, it helps you sleep. And four, if you have IBS like I do, it helps with constipation and helps make you regular. And five, it also helps with bloating. If you are having issues, like if you are on your period, or if you've eaten too much salt the night before and you just wake up and you feel puffy, go ahead and take a magnesium or the night before, take magnesium. You will sleep like a baby, I promise you, and you will wake up and the water weight will be just completely gone and you will feel so much better. Zinc is in this too. I don't know what that's for. It's just in there. So if you guys know what it's for, go ahead and leave a comment down below because I sure don't. I am nowhere near a doctor or a nutritionist. I'm just telling you this is what I take. <laughs> Moving on to nutrition. I have three products here because I didn't want to show you basically my whole kitchen because that would take forever. But I have three main products here that I eat every single day or what I did eat every single day that helped me lose weight. And I'm going to share them with you guys. But I need you guys to remember to only use these in moderation because if you have too much protein or too much fiber, protein makes you very constipated in large amounts and it's also not really all that good for women to have that uh, like a whole lot of protein you really don't want to exceed I think it's like 50 50 grams of protein in a day and too much fiber can cause bloating gas headaches fatigue nausea you just have to make sure you're doing everything in moderation don't think oh I'm gonna do this this and this and over overdo what I'm supposed to do and it's gonna help me lose weight faster no it's gonna make you feel like crap faster and then you're gonna end up sleeping in bed all day because you feel miserable and then you're gonna realize wow maybe this whole weight loss thing isn't the way to go let me go get some ice cream to make myself feel better no when I first started my weight loss journey like I said in the previous video, I don't know what triggered it in me to make me actually say, Dag nab it, Katie, put down the potato chips, put down the Coca-Cola, get your butt up in the gym and drink some protein shakes and some vitamin packed nutrients and just let's go. Come on, what is wrong with you? I'm not, like I said, I don't know what exactly triggered that in my mind, but something snapped and I was on the hunt for the perfect protein shake for me. Now, my type of body, I am lactose intolerant. I cannot take any type of dairy supplement, ice cream, milk, um, some yogurts hurt my stomach, half and half, um, other things that have, you know, a whole lot of dairy in them. I cannot digest them and I will end up getting physically sick. Now, before I was drinking a protein shake called Boost, which is great, it's lactose free, but it has 24 grams of sugar in each bottle. And I cannot tell you the stomach aches it would cause, but whenever I feel like I'm having like a hypoglycemic blood sugar, thing going on. I usually just drink one of those and it helps bring me back to normal. So I keep those on reserve for, you know, emergency events like that. But an everyday protein shake, I wake up in the morning, I'll fix myself some scrambled eggs, some sliced avocado, some peanut butter whole wheat toast. And then I will also go and have my, I can never pronounce this, Svelte? 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 I don't know. They're USDA organic, which I love. I love that there's no like preservatives or artificial sweeteners in them. I like the French vanilla. They also have cappuccino, banana cream, and chocolate. The chocolate, once refrigerated, tastes exactly like a Wendy's Frosty, which blew my mind, because normally when things say organic, protein, dairy-free, no artificial sweeteners, you're thinking, this is gonna taste nasty. But I tried it and they are actually really delicious. Now this is an organic protein shake and it, it has 11 grams of protein, gluten-free, dairy-free, 20% of daily fiber, only six grams of sugars because it is sweetened with stevia. So if you cannot tolerate artificial sweeteners, this is a awesome, awesome protein shake. It's low glycemic, organic complex carbohydrates made with fresh organic soy milk. So there's no whey, there's no lactose. 
and it contains organic inulin, a prebiotic that provides fiber. And I believe there are like four or five flavors. I got mine from Walmart. They are in the section where the almond milk is and rice milk. And I believe they are $6.99 for four. So they are kind of expensive, but they are so worth it. So I'll drink one of these with my meal. And then I'll usually have another one, usually right before I go to bed because you actually burn calories while you're sleeping. So it's best to go ahead and get some type of protein, some type of nutrients in you before you go to bed and then you wake up and you feel more refreshed. Drinking these, I don't know what's in them, but this and blended with the hydroxy cut, I mean, I drop weight like that. I don't know if that's healthy or not, but these alone will help you lose weight. Usually for a snack, I will probably eat maybe some chocolate strawberries or some pineapple. I usually like to eat a lot of fruit mostly because that is kind of how I feel like nature's desserts. They're not man-made, they are made by nature and it's, it's like nature's way of saying, here, have something sweet on me. Instead of filling your body up with chocolate and Milky Ways and ice cream and everything that has so many sugars and carbohydrates and preservatives, all that stuff can lead to weight gain, it can lead to health issues. So normally when I'm craving something sweet that also is great for a pre-workout and a post-workout, I'll go and I'll grab a nanner. Not a banana. I call them nanners. And if you don't, if you don't like to call them nanners, that's okay. You can call it a banana, but I personally call them nanners. A banana is loaded in potassium and I believe also magnesium as well. You eat a banana as long as you are not diabetic. Keep in mind, consult your doctor before changing any type of your diet. If you eat a banana every single day like I did, it helps with bloating, it helps with migraines, it helps with constipation. And it's loaded in carbohydrates, just like on the banana. It's loaded in carbohydrates, which is great for a pre-workout, a natural pre-workout, because carbohydrates help boost your energy levels. That way you can go out and get in the gym, do your workout, and then after a workout, you can also eat another banana and it helps with muscle cramps, it helps relax the muscles. A lot of soccer players eat bananas after they do their workout just so they can prevent Charlie horses from happening. And I can vouch for that because every time I don't eat a banana after a workout, I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, it's like day, it's day after like day. I have to go to the bathroom and I can't sit down on the toilet because my legs hurt so bad. So if you're having issues with muscle cramps, with migraines, with bloating, fatigue, you need a natural source for a pre-workout, go ahead, just eat yourself a banana. The last nutritional thing that I'm gonna show you is another type of snack. I keep these in my car, I keep these in my pantry. Basically, if I know that I'm not gonna have time to stop and eat a whole breakfast or stop and eat a good lunch or dinner, or I'm just straight on the go and I need to just grab and go, I go and I buy the Cliff Bars. One of my friends actually got me into these things. I do like the white chocolate macadamia nut and the chocolate chip. However, whenever I eat those, you can really, really just taste the fact that they are loaded in protein and I don't necessarily like that taste. I can't really describe the taste to you, but if you have ever eaten a protein bar, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So I went to the store the other day and I saw these blueberry crisp ones. Oh my God, these are my new favorite Cliff Bars. They taste just like a blueberry pie. They have 44 grams of carbs in them, so they're great as a pre-workout meal. I usually eat one before I go work out. Only 250 calories. It has 10 grams of protein in it. However, it does have 22 grams of sugar, so you want to eat these in moderation. And it's packed with vitamins and nutrients, so you also want to make sure that you eat these in moderation just because of that, because you don't want to exceed a certain vitamin and end up making yourself sick. Everything else in it is all organic, it's organic oats, and they actually, they just taste really, really good. If you are having trouble finding a certain snack that you can just grab and go, get a banana, get an organic protein shake, get a Cliff Bar, and just go about your day. And I promise you that those products that I just showed you are indeed gonna help you lose weight because it made me lose weight. I lost 20 pounds, guys, 20 pounds, just by eating right, changing my diet, and just those few simple products. 
you can't go wrong. You cannot lose the weight the same way I did. Everybody's metabolisms are different. It might take you a month, it might take you two months to lose 20 pounds. You never know. It depends on how you work out, depends on how you eat, depends on how you sleep, depends on if you smoke, if you drink. It's just, you have to constantly keep reminding yourself that I am not doing this for anyone but myself. I am doing this to make myself feel better and to make myself a better me for my own self. Don't go in this thinking that I'm going to do this to make my ex-boyfriend regret ever breaking up with me. Girl, he ain't paying attention to you. He's off with his new chick. Just go ahead and you do your boo-boo. You go out into the gym. You make yourself fit so that the next man or woman that comes into your life sees, wow, this girl gets dedicated and she means business. Most men out there, they like it when a woman is fit and healthy. So go out there and just do this for you. Don't let other things like life stresses or depression or anything like else, anything like anything else like that keep you confined to your little bubble. Break free of that bubble. Use that anger, depression, hate, Turn it into a positive. Go out for a run. Go out to the gym. Release those endorphins. Make yourself feel better. A lot of people forget that you don't have to go out and have a picnic sized box of pills to make yourself feel better. There are things on this earth that were specifically put here, grown by nature, to make us feel better and we just ignore them because we want the double cheeseburgers. We want the chicken nuggets. We want the extra large fry when we play Monopoly and get a large Coke and like to peel off the stickers and then end up getting sucked into drinking the drink because we just really wanted to play Monopoly. I mean, fallbacks happen, but if you can't, you have to learn how to actually tell yourself, girl, Am I doing this for me or am I doing it for somebody else? If I'm doing it for somebody else, I might as well stop now. It has to be something that you trigger in your own brain. People can tell you left and right, you need to lose weight, you're gonna be diabetic, blah, 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 blah. And some people just absorb that and they just sit there with it. Like, oh, my life is over. I can't change anything with it. I, like, there's just, there's nothing that I can do. I'm just gonna have to pop pills the rest of my life. And that's not true. Use that to your advantage to say, I am not gonna let this overcome me. Dag nabbit, I am not gonna let myself become diabetic. I am not gonna let myself have migraines all the time because I know that there is something out there that is going to make me feel better besides taking a pill, besides taking Tylenol, which can end up hurting your liver, besides going out and drinking because you feel so stressed that you're overweight. So you just drink to numb the pain. There are so many things that you can do to make yourself a better you. Oh, that run. It's all something that you yourself have to take charge of. A personal trainer can get you on a treadmill. A personal trainer can get you on a lift tool. A personal trainer can get you to bench weights and weight train. It is up to you to make it to that personal trainer. It is up to you to wake up in the morning and say, I'm tired, but I'm going to do it. And once you get past that first week, two weeks, 21 days, whatever it is that they say causes you to start doing things naturally, like it becomes a habit forming thing. Once you get to that, it's so rejuvenating to watch your body transform and you can literally sit back and admire yourself and think, wow, I did this, I did this. Anyways, that is my whole video for you guys. I hope you found this motivating and I hope you guys as well go out and you try these nutritional ideas. I'm not saying again that you have to go out and buy HydroxyCut. It's not meant for everybody. Do your research, find the best nutritional package that is for you if you're diabetic, there's certain ways you need to eat. If you have thyroid problems or certain things you need to eat, just go out there and do your research and don't give up. When you give up, it's when you end up 
really just letting your own self down. And you don't deserve that. You don't deserve to do that to yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys like seeing videos like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Write down in the comments below other types of videos that you would like to see, whether it's workouts, whether it's, you know, how to deal with PMS or migraines or anything else that's troubling you health-wise or fitness-wise, Brian and I will get up there and we will give you guys as much advice as we can, but you need to keep in mind, it is your choice to make a change. It's that simple. Nobody should ever have control over you except yourself. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!